In this video, we're going to talk about simple moving averages. So what is a simple moving average, or SMA for short? The simple moving average is the average closing price of a stock over a specified period of time. It is a moving average because the average changes with each new day. Now let's talk about how we can calculate the moving average. So let's put some days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Let's say that the closing price of stock XYZ is $10 on Monday, and let's say it's $11 on Tuesday, 13 on Wednesday, 14 on Thursday, and then it closes on at 16 on Friday. So to calculate the simple moving average, this will be the SMA5 because it's a five day moving average. It's gonna be the sum of the closing prices of the stock for those five days. So that's gonna be 10 plus 11 plus 13 plus 14 plus 16 divided by five. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So the SMA5 will be $12.80. Now the average is going to change. On the next day, I mean not the next day, but the next week, Monday, let's say the stock price is now $19. So now the new SMA value will be based on the closing price of the stock for the last five days. So we're going to drop off Monday and we're going to take the new Monday value of $19. So our new SMA5 value is going to be 11 plus 13 plus 14 plus 16 plus 19 divided by 5. And so that is going to be fourteen dollars and sixty cents so as you can see it's not too difficult to calculate the moving average you just have to average the closing price of the stock based on the specified period of time now notice that as the stock price increases the SMA value increases as well and so the simple moving average can tell you if the stock price is in an uptrend or in a downtrend. So we can clearly see that this, based on these values, the stock is in an uptrend because the stock price is increasing. So anytime the price is above the simple moving average, the stock is in an uptrend. Now, as we could see on Friday, the closing price was 16. So at the end of that day, the simple moving average was $12.80. So the price of $16 was greater than the moving average of 1280. And this confirmed that the stock was in an uptrend. You can see the numbers are increasing. Now the reverse is true as well. If the stock price is less than the simple moving average, this indicates that the stock is in a downtrend. So that's a quick and simple way in which you can tell if a stock is in an uptrend or if it's in a downtrend. And that's by comparing the stock price with the simple moving average. Now let's clear away a few things. Some common indicators that you may come across are the SMA 20, the SMA 50, and the SMA 200. So the SMA 20, it tells you the average closing price of a stock over the last 20 days. So it's very useful for determining the short-term trend of a stock. The SMA 200 is good for identifying the long-term trend. The SMA 200 represents the average closing price of a stock 
over the last 200 days. So now let's create a graph. The price of the stock will be on the y-axis, and we're going to have time on the x-axis. So I'm going to indicate the price in white and the SMA 20, the 20 day simple movement average, I'm going to indicate it in red. So let's say that the price of the stock is going up. And then it decides to go down. And then it goes back up. Now, the simple moving average is going to look something like this. It's going to follow the price curve. Now, notice that in this region here, the white line is above the red line. So in that region, we can say that the price, I'm just going to put P for price, the price is greater than the SMA value. So what that means is that the stock is in an uptrend. Now here we have a trend reversal. A trend reversal occurs when the SMA curve crosses the price curve. So for folks who trade stocks, they see this as a sell signal. Now in this region here, notice that the red curve is above the white curve. So, or the white curve is below the red curve. That means that the price of the stock is less than the SMA value. So that indicates a downtrend. Now we have our next trend reversal here. Once again, the red line crosses the white line. And so this is a signal not to sell, but to buy because the trend is about to reverse. It's about to change from a downtrend to an uptrend. And so you want to buy at that point. As you can see, the white line is above the red line. So that means that the price is above the SMA value. So just to review, anytime the price is above the SMA value, that indicates that the stock is in an uptrend. When the price is below the simple moving average, it indicates that the stock is in a downtrend. When the price equals the SMA value, that's when the red curve crosses the white curve. In this case, this indicates a trend reversal. So if you're going from an uptrend to a downtrend, at this point, that's a sell signal. If you're changing from a downtrend to an uptrend at this point, that's a buy signal. So here we have another similar price chart, but this time we have two simple moving averages as opposed to one. Now the red line is going to be the SMA 20, just like before. The blue one is the SMA 50. Now, notice that the SMA 20, it follows the price chart more closely than the SMA 50. The SMA 20, it reacts faster to price changes, so it's going to be more volatile. The SMA 50, it reacts slower to price changes, so it's less volatile. There's going to be more lag with the SMA 50. Now, notice that in this region, the red line is above the blue line. So in that region, the SMA 20 is above the SMA 50. When you see that, that means the stock is in an uptrend. Here, we have a crossover. That's when the SMA 20 crosses the SMA 50. So that is, it's another way to identify a trend reversal. So that is a signal to sell. 
Now in this region, notice that the red line is below the blue line. So the SMA20 is less than the SMA50. So that indicates a downtrend. I'm going to put U for uptrend, D for downtrend. Here we have our next crossover. And so that is an indication to buy. That's a buy signal. And then after that, we see that the red line is once again above the blue line. So the SMA 20 exceeds the SMA 50, which tells us that this is in an uptrend. So to review, we saw two ways in which we could identify uptrends and downtrends. And that's by comparing the price chart with an SMA value or by comparing two different SMA values. So in this case, if the SMA 20 is above the SMA 50, this tells us that the stock is in an uptrend. And if the SMA 20 is below the SMA 50, that tells us that the stock is in a downtrend. Now, you could do the same thing by comparing the SMA 20 and the SMA 200. The principles are similar, it's just the time frame is different. And at the crossovers, this indicates buy and sell signals. So whenever the SMA 20 is going below the SMA 50, which is at this point, that is a signal to sell. Here, the SMA 20 is below the SMA 50, but it's about to go be above it. So at this point, the SMA 20 is about to go above the SMA 50. That is a buy signal. 